problem to meet here. Well, we have found on the voters' roll that are in, in War 20. We did pick that problem up in War 20 that there are people registered in that ward that do not reside in that ward. It is not only just uh, one or two, but it is quite a number of number of people that are not residing in this ward. About how many would you say? Um, yeah, 1,500. Uh, 1, Gee whiz. It's a lot, yes. So what we did then, we did go to the IEC and we then did ask them what is this, what is this that is going on. War 20, when war 20 is which uh, war 20 which is orchards orchards in, in Georgia. So they registered there, but they don't live there. Well, that's the problem. That's the other problem. You see, when we did go there, they did indicate to us that the people did register there. Some of them did register even in, in 99 at Kitstop. The problem I actually with Kitstop, with Youth for Christ Kitstop is 99 there was no such reading like Kitstop mm. because it was only the Hidal Primary School. Okay. So the IEC then couldn't give us answers on that because then Mr. Miller was calling Mr. Brown and they both of them was like they couldn't answer us, us on what our problems, mm. the problems that we have identified for them. So we did go to some of these people. To, to some of these voters, and they have indicated to us that they have never voted in this VD. They have never resided or never even stayed in Ward 20. Do they know that they registered there? That's, no, no. They, that's the other problem because they are not aware that they are registered here. Because there was one specific lady that said to us that by the last time she did vote, she did vote at the Convo Civic. Uh, the Convo Civic. 